Hi, we're Darby and Ro, and Cosmo. We're currently traveling Australia in our self-converted van. We upload videos every week about our travels and the ups and downs of living in a van. This is what we got up to this week. We've been in Canberra for about a month and a half now doing family things, going to weddings, things like that. And tomorrow we're officially off on our travels again. This is the current state of the van. Everything is just everywhere. I'm currently wiping down the fridge and freezer. Very excited to be traveling again. We're officially on the road again. It is 9.03. It feels so good to be leaving again. We're excited to go pick up dad and then we're off. We're just in the Aldi car park at the moment. Cosmo's chewing on some rubbish. So the plan is to basically go from Canberra to Broken Hill, a little bit of South Australia, where we're thinking of buying some land after the trip, which is so exciting. Uluru, Darwin, and then down the WA coast. We're so excited. I can't, I can't stop smiling. And I'm really, really excited to bring you guys along with us too. We just got a dash cam too. We're going to Mildura this week, but today we'll probably just make it as far as Wagga. We're excited for the trip ahead. campground in Wagga called Wilkes Park and there's a beautiful off-leash dog area right across the road so Cosmo's having a good little run around <laughs> Cheers to our first night in the van Cheers It's been our morning routine lately to watch Dash Cheers you can just see my mouth. That's okay. Just to like mentally prepare for the day. Yep, mentally prepare for the day. And we're watching it this morning. Fuck it, idiot! <laughs> oh. The past couple of trucks we drove past had huge like bales of cotton and there's heaps just on the side of the road. And so we thought we'd just grab some and feel it. Oh wow, it's soft. A bit dirty. Oh, he's moving over. Oh shoot, we've got a big truck coming. Here's the cotton. <laughs> Smell like anything? <laughs> it's just rubbish, I guess. Yeah, how weird. It's literally all over the ground down the road for like a couple of kilometers. It's easier than walking. Yeah, it's pretty easy. We're thinking maybe some floods have happened around here because there are so many trees that are in the water, but it's kind of like the middle of nowhere. I don't know. Floods in the middle. Update, Rowan says it floods everywhere. <laughs> I just expect it less in the middle of nowhere and more in like coastal towns, you know? Any comment? <laughs> <laughs> Cosmo's gonna go nuts. Oh, you won't be able to reach it. Cosmo, he's okay. He's all right. He's okay. You gonna leave it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to reach it. Yeah. We're in Hay, New South Wales, and it's so eerie out here. There's no noise. We just drove about 10 minutes out where this lady said that there's this beautiful sunset viewing area. Oh, there's actually a car coming. The only sound I can hear right now is the drone. It's just so flat out here and we're the only ones here. It's kind of eerie, but it's so cool. 
My footsteps sound so loud. This is such a cool place. The lady at the information center said that we can't miss it because the clouds are looking great today. And apparently the sunset from here is just incredible. Yeah, it's just so weird and open and quiet. There's nobody around except that one car I just saw. This is like the flattest point in the Southern Hemisphere apparently. So yeah, I'm really excited for tonight's sunset. The plan is to just sit out here for a few hours and watch the sunset from this spot. I think the earth might be flat. <laughs> I might have been convinced. You heard it here first. I mean, just look at it. It does look pretty flat. The amount of bug spray we have out right now is ridiculous. We have two Bushmans, one mozzie stuff that we swear by that I can't remember the name of, and bug spray because there's like a hundred mozzies all over the van. Loving the bugs. stopped at this free campground and there's just a whole bunch of these melons everywhere which is really weird. Rowan burst one open and it had like white on the inside. Cosmo's playing with this one. <laughs> We're not quite sure what they are. Do you think a watermelon would sink or float in a bathtub? So we're not sure if these melons are going to sink or float in this river. Oh, it does float! Oh no! Good effort! Wilson! 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 I'm sorry! So, this toilet has been on the roof for quite a while and I haven't used it and I'm pretty sure I emptied it last time but it looks very wet on the bottom and a bit gross so let's oh <laughs> very faded All actually right. maybe it's not wet maybe that's just the color that the bag used to be do you think i think it looks very yuck it actually is a bit wet yeah oh i think your toilet paper has been dissolving oh yeah that'll be it oh yuck no, Cosmo, this is not food. Yeah, but you want to get out of that. <laughs> oh, yuck! Oh my god! Oh. This is disgusting. Cosmo, out of there, <laughs> Come please. On, oh my god, it looks like soggy bread. <laughs> oh. oh, look in there! This is green. I think maybe some of the. Oh, there's so much water oh, in there. Oh my god, yuck! <gasps> the bag's pretty waterproof. Yeah, I mean, that's good. It? It's like, oh, okay, so it's soaked into these things. Okay, so this bag was open and it, like there must have been some, maybe rain got in or something and then soaked the toilet paper. <laughs> oh no, the toilet's completely in. You're lucky. Oh, this kind of looks cool but disgusting. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the quality of the bag. It is waterproof. Yeah. It's so I got this from Anaconda. Anaconda, sponsor us. We just tested <laughs> your bag. It's uh, it's definitely waterproof. Good job. Waterproof from the inside. It's all part of the experience. Stunning. This is why I have a shovel. <laughs> oh dear. This bolt was also attached to this which was holding the toilet to the roof and it's gone very rusted. Not sure if that's a correlation between what just happened but 
We've just passed Mildura in this town called Wentworth and we're currently at this place where these two rivers collide, the Murray and the Darling. So Rowan's going to pop the drone up now and apparently we can see the different colours which is cool. There's also a stairwell that takes us to the top of this tower where we can see the two rivers. We just pulled up at this rest stop halfway between Wentworth and Broken Hill and there's a little bush library here in a little pink fridge which is weird. of graffiti on the inside of the fridge. Oh, we've got a COVID spreading station. Lovely. How cute. We've just stopped here for lunch. We're having last night's leftover rissoles on some sandwiches. Thank you, chef. Oh, yes, please. Thanks.